Are you looking for something about health and dieting from the past few years? I think you've probably heard many times that processed food should only be eaten in strict moderation. This is because researchers have studied the effects of these foods on our body, and their conclusions have raised a lot of concerns among health professionals. This information moves many to avoid these foods, so if you are in the same line of thinking, the rest of this video will discuss some tips for cutting out processed foods. Tip number one, where to start first. If you're anything like most people, understanding the ingredient list label on many of the pre-packaged bags of chips and individually wrapped burritos and sandwiches sold in supermarkets can be frustrating. As your eyes trace the indecipherably long names of chemicals, you probably feel some sort of apprehension, and it turns out that this is the right mindset. One simple piece of advice that you can always consider is to avoid anything that is difficult to pronounce or looks completely unfamiliar to you. That will keep you from ingesting anything with harsh preservatives. That's not to say that it is all terrible, but that will give you somewhat of a buffer. Tip number two, try some healthy brands. While you are learning to create your own sauces and condiments for your food, you can try some healthier versions of the condiments you normally use. They are slowly becoming more common, but you can always find them at speciality stores. Once you're used to the idea of making your own, you can compare your version with the ones you've tried. Tip number three, foods to help you create. Coconut oil. Coconut oil is multifunctional. You can use it to add coconut flavor to foods and baked goods. You can also use it to lightly fry veggies and give them a beautiful, fragrant smell and taste. It's great for tea, smoothies, and can be a great addition to mellow out an intense sauce. Speciality cut veggies as a noodle replacement. Who would pass on some fun cuts of tasty vegetables? If you have a special cutting device or a food processor that can make pasta shapes out of vegetables, then you have a large list of great foods that you can make. When you feel like you want some pasta but veggies are a better idea, then you can get something going with these. Greek yogurt. Yogurt like this is great for all kinds of projects. You can use it to make anything from salad dressings to sweet treats. Greek yogurt is also awesome on anything bready and savory. Potatoes and squash. These great ground treasures have a huge role in food all over the world. Potatoes can be prepared in different ways, baked, lightly fired or mashed, and squash makes a great base for soup and other innovative ideas. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment and share below. And don't forget to subscribe and click the bell icon for new video notifications in future.